Hi everyone, you have reached Chronicles of the Grey Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, Steph Curry, and the divorce of his parents, and Lisa Bonet and her husband Jason, perhaps getting back together. So in this story I have today, we have two saves, I guess I'm going to say. Well, actually, no, I'm messing up there. We have one save and two divorces. So one marriage is going to recover, hopefully. And unfortunately, two are, are ending up in divorce or have already ended up in divorce. So in terms of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, well, Kim Kardashian, approximately about a year ago today, um, decided she went out of the marriage, okay? She filed for divorce, and ever since she filed, um, Kanye West has been, well, I guess if you know him by his new name now, he's shortened it, Yee West, has decided that, you know, he wanted to save his family. And he did all kind of antics that I guess in his mind he thought was going to bring Kim back to him. But I think it only wedged, uh, 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 put a wedge in between the relationship and really wanted her to go further and further away. She has been begging the courts to um, declare her single. She has been begging Kanye and his people, please, you got the paperwork, just sign it. Let's be divorced already and let's just co-parent. She had to beg Kanye West to stop doing little um, subliminal messages to her current boyfriend, um, Pete Davidson. Kanye West um, renamed him Ski. It's just been a whole mess. And also one of um, Kanye's new songs kind of puts a dig at Kim and Pete um, Pete Davidson as a couple. It was just so messy. He said something about you don't come between a man and his kids. Um, you don't have enough security for that. Uh, those are fighting words in the street. That that that's those are words that mean that you're you're trying to threaten somebody. You're trying to tell them, listen, what you gonna do? You better shut your mouth because you can't handle this. So Kim had to beg Kim to like knock it off and stop and pretty much be an adult in the public eye. Now I will say this: Do I like Kanye West antics? Absolutely not. Do I think that Kanye West, you know, is is um has a creative mind? Uh, is teetering or, or darn near a genius in several um, different ways for several different reasons. I absolutely do. But we're not going to get into that right now. What we'll get into is that finally Kanye West has turned the corner. He has decided for the betterment of his children that he is going to go ahead and give in and give up and finally, you know, do whatever it is he has to do to make sure that this divorce can just go through smoothly, they can carry on, and he can stop the shenanigans. I don't know if he bumped his head or if he just turned over and woke up and said, you know what, I get it now. Kim doesn't want me back. Let me just let that go. None of that really matters. What matters more is that finally he has awakened. He had an awakening. And the kids are really going to be the winners in this particular situation. I wish Kanye West the best. I wish Kim Kardashian the best. And I'm praying that um, when the sun goes around the moon one more time, that those two as a, a couple that made beautiful children together can get past all of this and learn how to co-parent nicely because it matters for the children. Now let's move on. I, I like Steph Curry a lot. Um, I like him. I like his family union. I like the way that he's not being played out as one of the typical and, and, and maybe this word is going to get me in a little bit of trouble. Um, typical basketball players who's out there just laying their seed um, in any um, woman that will open their legs to them. And, you know, having to have this child support thing and these broken families. So I applaud Steph Curry for just, you know, being with his wife, having his family. And you're not hearing so many scandals about him. What I thought was so absolutely beautiful is how Steph Curry said, you know, because his parents who were married 33 years, I believe, 
are splitting? Are they divorced already? Are they filed? Are they currently going through a divorce? And he came out recently and said, look, divorce is hard. So even as a grown man, divorce is hard for him, right? Because his parents came to every single one or at least most of his games in his brother's games and then sometimes they was playing at the same time one parent would go this way one parent would go the other way but they always supported him so now it is so difficult and weird for him that before when the parents were at his games they were both seated together and he can walk over to both of them and speak and you know and have conversation with the both of them but now unfortunately when they're at games mommy's over there and daddy's over there and he has to split his time and figure out, you know, how do I navigate making sure that both my parents know, listen, I still love the both of y'all. He said, although it is difficult, he is doing it. And he praises his parents for raising such a well-rounded person himself. And that's the reason why he's able to navigate this situation right now. No matter what age you are, whether you're 5, 35, or 55, if you have known your parents as a unit for a major portion of your life, um, it really hurts when they break up because now you have to navigate birthday parties. You have to navigate dinner parties. You have to navigate every social event in your life where you would really want both of your parents there. If they are in the midst of a war themselves and they're fighting because they're no longer together, you sometimes have to flip the coin and decide, do I invite mom to this event or do I invite dad? Or do I invite both and have like, you know, all of this tension at my event? So I commend Seth Curry for talking about it. And I think that every child um, that is a product of a divorce or a separation of their parents should come together and really, you know, write a book, write a blueprint. Um, not that it will be the end all be all, but write a blueprint for all of those that are going to come behind them on a way that they can perhaps learn to navigate the separation of their parents. It's devastating. It's a lot. It's heartbreaking for many children, whether they're young or they're adults. So again, I praise Steph Curry for saying, look, it is difficult, but because, you know, I have, I'm well-rounded and probably because also he's an adult, right? He's learning how to navigate it, even though the navigation is not easy for him. And he's an adult and a husband with his own children and family. And he's letting you know that divorce is difficult, right? So that's the story on Steph Curry. And the last, I'm going to end it with what I consider to be really good news. I felt like Lisa Bonet and her husband Jason were just a match made in heaven. They seem to both be, you know, have this kind of bohemian look, um, seem to just, you know, be one of those people that we love the earth. We want to eat everything vegan. Now, I'm not saying that they are. I don't know their whole story, but I'm just telling you what it appeared to be like to me. And I always really don't like to hear about couples divorcing especially when children are involved, or just period. Now listen, divorce sometimes has to happen when people are just not getting along or, or when you're in a really bad situation, okay? So I'm not saying that no one should ever not get a divorce, but I think when ever possible if there's a way to fix your situation and not have a divorce that's the route you should go so with jason and lisa bonet um jason apparently moved back into their marital home i really hope that these two can work it out i am wholeheartedly one per head 100% routine for them because um, I just think they're such a cute couple and I just like them together um, so I wish them well so now guys we'll wrap this up by saying this have you ever um, are you a product of divorce and how did you navigate it and are you a product of maybe your parents were never married, but they were together for a major time period of your life and then they got divorced? Like, how did you work that out or how do you work that out? And are you now able to invite both of your parents to all of your events or do you have to flip a coin and say, you know what? 
I'm going to have mom at this event, dad at this event. And, um, you know, or if you do have them at the event together, do you have to make sure there's enough space so they're not, you know, physically um, within six feet of each other or else everything is just going to blow up. So thanks guys for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Chat with me in the comments and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and I'll see y'all in the next video.